Good morning, everyone. This is Sherry from She Be Stitchy World. Sorry about the glare on the glasses. I have curtains open. Today is Friday, May 24th, 2024, and I am on floss tube number 68. I have my notes. I need my notes. This old lady needs notes. How's everyone doing? Uh, this is Memorial Day weekend, so I decided to go ahead and film a floss tube today. I have a lot of stuff that's been upstairs on the kitchen table. I want to get it back to the basement and packed away. Uh, mail carrier came. Uh, the boys go crazy when the mail carrier comes. They bark, 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 bark. I am upstairs today. I am in the living room. The boys are sitting across from me on the couch looking out the picture window, and Java's chewing on his bone. So hopefully nobody will walk by. Hopefully no delivery trucks will come because they go crazy. If I cut off and I don't, then I edit. If it doesn't match up totally, it's because I had to hurry up and pause so you wouldn't hear the barking. A lot of stitching to show. May has been an FFO month for me. Finally, fully finished objects. I have done a lot of work. I got everything organized in the basement for doing the finishing work. It worked out perfect. I loved the way I have everything set up from the craft room in the basement that my husband built to the outside of the, the craft room. I have a whole long table where I could cut stuff, where I could glue this, you know, glue the stuff, put, it, put everything together. Um, but everything that was upstairs on the kitchen table, I need to pack it away. So I thought, you know what, I'll just film upstairs. Why carry everything to the basement and then have to carry half of it back up? Why do double? It's too hard. Uh, a lot of things personally. This old lady's turning 65 in a couple months. Can you believe it? Uh, I don't know how I turned 65. I thought when my mom turned 65, she was old. I feel old. My body, I don't feel old. My body feels old. I have a lot of pain in my legs and hip. I got registered. I got my Medicare card already. I got it like a month ago. I was shocked at that, that I got it so early. But I am all set up with Medicare. I am all set up with a supplemental plan, 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 supplemental plan G. And I also have a prescription card. It just came today. The prescription card just came today. I ended up going to a senior care advisor. Uh, they're a licensed agency close to home. They explain Medicare Part A, how it works. They explain Medicare Part B and how it works. They tell you what you need to, if you want the supplemental or advantage plan. What are the good things about Advantage plans? What are the bad things about Advantage plans? What are the good things about having a supplemental plan G? I was nervous. I don't like doing stuff like this, but he put me at ease. I had all my notes. He was reading my notes upside down because I had a lot of questions. He explained everything. I got a nice supplemental plan where I only pay, I think it's $103 a month. Plus, you have to pay for Medicare, which is, I think, $174 or $177 a month. That will come out of the Social Security check. My supplemental comes out of the checking account. I will have no deductibles to meet with the supplemental plan. I will have no co-pays for any doctor visits. It doesn't matter if it's a PCP. It doesn't matter if it's a specialty doctor. I pay nothing. Um, I think he said the deductible for Medicare is going up from 220 to 240. I will pay that once a year. That is it. I pay no deductibles. I pay for nothing. If the doctor wants to have a test done, like an MRI or a CT scan, insurance will pay for it. They approve it immediately. He says with Advantage plans, they basically tell the doctors what to do, what you can get done. So if my doctor wants me to get an MRI of my hip or my leg because of the problems I'm having, I don't have to jump through hoops and have to get like physical therapy shots. My sister-in-law, she's had a problem with her back for years. Well, it's gotten really bad. It's, it's a different problem. Her insurance company's making her do physical therapy. Her insurance company's making her get shots. Her doctor knows that she needs surgery. Her friend had the surgery. They make them jump through hoops. He says, no. He says, Advantage plans tell the doctors, no, you can get this test. Yes, you can get this test. He says with the Plan G, they don't refuse anything. They basically let you do what the doctor says that you need. So I was happy with that. He also signed me up with a prescription plan program that is available in Indiana that is called WellCare. I pay zero premium. That was the best news ever because when you have to pay for your supplemental and pay for your, pay for your Medicare, that's enough. 
but I was able to get into a plan where I pay zero monthly premium. Not all states offer it. I will pay zero for generics, and I may have to pay something for other medications like pain medications or something that might be a little bit more expensive. I just got that card today for my prescription plan. Uh, I got the confirming letter for my supplemental plan G. Medicare is all set up. I mean, this place explains everything. They sign you up for everything. If you have problems with anything, you call them, they will call the insurance company for you and get it straightened out. So I'm done. I'm relaxed about that. I am so happy. The only thing is, is that you don't get like vision, hearing, and dental. I don't need it right now. I hope I won't need it. I'll just have to pay full price if I need to get to get something for my eyes. So that'll all start August 1st. But I am all set up. I got all my cards, so I'm good to go. My husband, he's had a lot, he's getting dental work done. He's had two dentist visits already. Uh, he's had fillings done. He needs to get two teeth pulled on the right side. So I just made that appointment. He has to go in to the oral surgeon. They have to examine him. Uh, hopefully they can use the x-rays that the other dentist had. They are out of network, unfortunately, but they're close to home. I've used them. He went there when he was a kid and we just don't want to have to go like 45 minutes away to get two teeth extracted. And then if there's a problem, he said he'd have to go out there and rush where this way it's 10 minutes from home. So he's all set up with everything. Uh, they're going to take care of the insurance, and she says even though they're out of network, you will probably get reimbursed for most of it. So he's done with that. Furry babies are doing good. They're, you know, Java's chewing on his bone right now. I'm looking at them right now. So hopefully they'll stay quiet. Um, all of my flowers that have, have, you know, purple irises have bloomed. Unfortunately, they only bloom for two to three weeks. So those are done. All my neighbors, you know, they always walk by. Whenever they walk by, they love the purple irises. I haven't planted around the whole house. I got rid of a lot of the bushes that the, the old, former, sorry, former former homeowners had. So I just replaced them with, with purple irises, and then I've put other plants in between. My lilac bush... I took a couple pictures, sent it to our meteorologist with the Chicago News, NBC Chicago, Brant Miller. He actually finally used one of my pictures to show on his newscast. I was so thrilled. He didn't say my name because, you know, our last name, it can be pronounced different ways. But, you know, I posted it on Facebook and everything. I was so happy because I've been trying to get a picture posted by him. I sent pictures in of the dogs at Christmas time. I've done flowers before, but this time... He did the picture with the, with the lilac bush. I was so happy. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that's about it with personal stuff. It is Memorial Day weekend. We are doing nothing. My husband gets a haircut tomorrow. I made that appointment. I'm his secretary. <laughs> I think I'm just going to stay home and stitch. I might trim a few bushes outside. We have two, two tree-like bushes next to the porch, one on each side. So I may trim those. It depends on the weather. I may send a message to our neighbor to have her son mow the lawn. He's been doing a great job for the last two years. I don't know what we're going to do if he goes away to college after next year because I can't mow the lawn right now unless, so unless I get into the doctor and he can straighten my leg out. So this is a channel about cross-stitch. But I got all that out of the way because I wanted to talk about it because I don't like being <laughs> going on 65. So that's all my notes. So... My husband has had two dental visits. The office does not have internet, so I have started a travel piece. I've never really had a travel piece, but this is my first travel piece for doctor's visits. Autumn Lane Stitchery, I picked something simple. I had it all pre-kitted. I have a whole bunch of their small ones like this that are all, that are all I have the floss, I have the, the fabric, and this is Uncle Sam. So I started this two weeks ago, one week ago, at his first visit and worked on it last night. So that's how much I got done. Sorry about the glare. The curtains are open across the way. So yeah, I have my first, first travel piece. I'll be taking that with me in June for when he gets his first dental visit before getting his teeth pulled. My husband. Okay. Whips. I have worked on two whips this month because I haven't been able to really stop either one. The first one is the Primitive Hair Halloween This Way. There's the full chart. I love this. 
the colors. Now I have changed colors. And I like how it's turning out. And here, let's put this behind this. And this is what I got done so far. I got to a stopping point. I do like a board each time I work on this whip. The purple and green in the background is variegated. I dyed that fabric, a uh, fabric, I dyed that floss. And then I am using, I think the orange in the, it says dead end. That is also another one of my flosses that I've dyed. So yes, I am changing colors. I love how it's turning out. Everything's falling on the floor. So yeah, so that's how it looks. So that was my stopping point because I start in the middle and then I finish dead end. I like changing colors. I hope designers don't mind. Here, I got to pick this up. I'm going to try to stay organized. Oh, there it goes. Everything's going on the floor. Let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, I always wonder, do designers mind if you change the colors or how their projects look? Because, you know, you buy it because you like how they have it. But then when I go to match everything with my fabrics, I have to change colors. Okay, so that's that one. And then the other one that I worked on is... Kathy Barrick, Halloween Greetings. Look at that. I love this. Let's get it up close so we can get the glare off. Now, again, I've changed colors. Um, on the chart, it does not show this pumpkin here. So I did... No, there's a pumpkin here on the chart, but they don't have it on the picture. I don't know why. I don't know if they stitched it and added a pumpkin. The chart has a pumpkin. Now, as you can see, all the pumpkins are orange. I use the converted colors of DMC, but when they converted one of the orange colors to DMC from their specialty colors, they used NPS, needlepoint silks. They changed an orange to a green for a pumpkin. I don't understand that one. So, yes, I changed some of the pumpkin colors. Now, I didn't want to take it off the scroll frame, and yes, I do have my thread here but this is it's I'm working on the background so I'm like there I use easy scroll frames I have the easy scroll frame floor stand and this is what I use when I don't need to use the floor stand so that's what I've got done the pumpkins it's hard to hold this so the pumpkins that I changed the colors was like this one the lighter color pumpkins because the conversion just didn't work so I'm filling in the background with that green I changed a few other colors, but yeah, I really like this. Again, I hand dyed the fabric, so yeah, it almost looks, they did theirs on a white, I did mine on a purple. I just think purple Halloween every time for purple. So that's where I'm at now, so I'm just doing easy stuff, just filling in the background. I hope to finish this by the end of the month, and then maybe I can do a FFO with it. So yeah, so there's that. So those are all the whips that I worked on this month. Let's see. FFOs. Okay. FFOs are fully finished objects. The first five are by Sue Hillis, and it's from her booklet called Home for the Picnic. I will show. Sorry about the window. There you go. This is the booklet that it came from. I stitched five of these so far. Oh, I have a sixth one in the basement that I will be finishing into an easel. She also has an easel book. Makes it easy to make everything, flat folds, easels. So that's the booklet that it came from. Let me put this here. And the first one is, oh my stars, I used all of the DMC threads. This board I got at Target, I think it was like $3. Uh, Java Stitch Girls, she says go to Target. They always have stuff at like the front of the store. It's like the dollar bins, but it's like three, five dollars. This turned out perfect because it had the star, it had the border, and all I had to do is add the pom-poms, a star that I found, and then I cut this off of some stuff. So yeah, so there's that finish. It's called All oh My Stars. I have this hanging by the back door. 
I have to figure out where I'm going to put everything because I have stuff sitting. I have stuff sitting everywhere. Here, let's put it there. So if you see gray hair. <laughs> Next, let's do this one. It's the most wonderful spark of the year. I have done all of her wonderful series. I love these. I'm a holiday stitcher. I painted the wood red. I always paint the backside. That's the way I am. And then I spray with like a Krylon spray. Sometimes I use the matte. Sometimes I use the glossy. I use glossy on this. The back, it doesn't have to be painted. For me, I do. Now, I thought at first when I painted this, I was going to do the white stars. And it's like, no. <laughs> no way I'm not even gonna attempt it but yeah I love the colors that she used I added a heart flag added the pom-pom border thought that turned out really cute then we have I knew when I bought I only have four fully finishes by her I knew when I bought these trucks what I was gonna use it for look at these I am so happy with how these turned out. I didn't know if I could paint the flags. The flags were easy to paint. I found the right size painting brush. The colors matched. So I painted gray for this one. This is actually a stain. And then I added the stitch piece down here. And instead of putting in a whole bunch of holes into the wood, I just used the holes from the tires. I can change that if I want. But when it hangs on the wall, it does hang straight. But I loved how these turned out. One I did a stain and one I did a paint. Look at how cute these turned out. But I, you know, I was just like hesitant about painting the flag and trying to do the red and the white and then the blue. And then the stars, hopefully they look like stars. I used a toothpick. I dabbed it with blue, white. The stars were dabbed with white with a toothpick, and then I used another toothpick with the blue and then tried to fix it so that they looked like stars. That was not easy. <laughs> but yeah, I love these. These are hanging in our bedroom, one on each side of a window. And when I reorganized all of my unfinished wood, I found trucks for the fall, Halloween, and Easter. So I'm excited <laughs> knowing that I can paint these. Never say never when you don't think you can do something. Okay, so those are the Sue Hillis finishes. Now I had to go through and I wrote notes about what each design is. Normally I don't do that. I don't even think about that. I just show it and say, here, this is what I did. This is Tiny Moderist and this is Halloween Wreath. I don't have the booklets. They're all, fi they're all filed away again. But yeah, I really like how this turned out. I painted the, gr I think this is, the paint I used a darker gray and then I used a darker orange to offset the stitch piece and then I added the bow and that's the back side I used a glossy spray I really like that I can't wait to hang it up this year I need more wall space with everything that I'm doing for Halloween and all of these are Halloween Okay, this one is a favorite. This is from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2014 magazine. Um, this is the Halloween collage. I did change colors. Now, I wanted to do something different. I thought I was going to do the typical orange pumpkin, and I said no. So I did a grayish type, bluish gray type color, and then I did, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? The purple there so that it kind of matches the purple in that. I know it's hard to see because of the glare, but yeah, I so I, I sponged, I just kind of like dabbed it. I changed the purple lettering to Sulky Blendables number 4033, and then I outlined it with DMC 550, the orange lettering. I did with DMC Variegated 4124. And I think I backstitched that with black. I really like how that turned out. And then I painted the trick or treat at the top and added that. Something simple and then I added the flowers. Yeah, I, I didn't want to do a typical orange pumpkin because I think I have one or two already. So I thought that turned out really nice. Next is Madame Chantilly Halloween Mouses. The only color change is I use B5200 instead of white. 
I painted purple and then I sponged purple and yellow to kind of match the purple and yellow in the background. And then I added the two stalks of flowers that I had. Again, I used the glossy spray. And then I added the pom-poms. So I thought that turned out really nice. All the colors, to me, match perfectly. The purple with the yellow. And then that's how I did the border. And those are the flowers. And these these boards, these larger boards are harder to find because I think Joanne Fabrics is getting rid of a lot of the, the unfinished wood. I did find three at my shopping trip yesterday. <laughs> I went shopping. Okay, another one from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween Magazine 2014. This is a stained piece of wood. There's the back. You don't have to stain or paint the back, but I did. So I stained it with the darker gray that I had, and this is called Midnight Ride. And then I painted little Halloween houses that I found on Amazon in a package. And I thought, oh, well, yeah, that'll go perfect because of the Halloween houses here. Used all of the, I'm pretty sure I used all of the DMC colors. I might have changed the moon. But I thought that turned out really nice. Everything kind of like offsets the other stuff. I thought that turned out cute. But yeah, these pieces of wood, I'll have to go to Amazon and, you know, I don't like paying high prices for my stuff. I don't know where to find this stuff. I know Michaels has some stuff, but they're a little bit more expensive. I may have to take it. I don't need anything, but I like having the longer pieces because I do the houses, like the row of houses and everything. This one is Sugar Stitches, and it's called Halloween Sampler. Fabric hand dyed by me. I painted it like a green. And then I did a little bit of purple sponging around the border. You can see it. And then I painted the ghost buttons. I call them buttons, but they're wood pieces. I bought them on Amazon. You get like 30 or 40 in a package. Worked out perfect. Added the bow. So I thought that turned out nice. I like the greens. Everything offsets the colors in her project. I love sugar stitches, too. I have a lot of favorite designers. So... Those are all my FFOs, so that kept me busy all month. And I like doing it now because when the air conditioning goes on, it's really cold in the basement. Sorry about the crinkling, sorry I'm drinking water. I know some people don't like it, but sometimes you have to. Okay, Joanne Fabrics. They had a sale going on. I think the sale's going on still for the DMC floss. DMC floss was too low to show. I went yesterday, 50 cents a skein. You cannot use the 20% off coupon because it's a door buster. I think most of the stuff that I bought were, were door busters. So the first thing I will show you, this is just the receipt for my DMC floss. I did a reel on Instagram just showing the receipt because they have to input each individual So yeah, can you believe this receipt? <laughs> I Figured buy it while I can while we can afford it And while it's cheaper because you know prices just keep going up 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 and up So that was packed in a separate bag. I Bought 10 B5200 and then I bought two of all the other colors so yeah, I bought a lot. I like having extras, having stuff on hand. I go overboard, but that's just me. So this is all the DMC floss that I bought. 50 cents a skein. For me, it's worth it. Save 16 cents. Because normally, at Joanne Fabrics, it's 66 cents. So that's my DMC haul. My husband doesn't mind, thankfully. He says, go for it. He goes, you enjoy everything. So then I needed more of I call it twine this is actually called long fiber hemp twine and I like the thinner string because they fit better through the holes when I have to drill the holes into the wood pieces to hang on the walls so I bought three this is a slightly different color I bought what they had because I run out of this a lot because I use it a lot for all the wood pieces when I hang them so I got that and then you can never have enough fiskers these were on sale 50% off, so I got another one. I love these. 
cuts through a lot. So I got that. Let's see. And then I found these were 50 or 60% off. Pre-made bows for patriotic. I can always use those to finish up pieces. I like those. And then Disney fabric was on sale, and I have some Disney finishing work to do. So they did have some Christmas. So I bought Mickey and Minnie in red with half a, I think about a yard of each. It was on sale. Kissing. This is really sharp. It has all the characters. That can go with anything. Christmas, anything that I want to finish with it. And then also the other one that has the different Disney characters with the rainbow colors. I can never have too, too much Disney. I love my Disney. So yeah, so that's what I bought. And then one more bag. I have to put all this away when I take it to the basement. I hope I have room for everything. Okay, and then these were on sale. Normally I only buy one, but since they're getting too hard to find, these were perfect for the houses, the row of houses, or like Waxy Moon Designs, they, they do their houses in three separate projects. I do mine all in a row, and this is perfect. You put something like a bower up here, decorate it, paint it. So yeah, so this is what I buy. These are all on sale, these are Park Lane. I don't know if they're getting rid of these at Joint Fabrics once they come out of their bankruptcy. I don't know what kind of new stuff they're bringing, but I'm gonna buy it when I see it because I know I'll use it, and I don't have, I think I have one or two of these left. So I've really gone through those because I use them for all of the larger houses. So that's all my haul. I didn't buy any new cross stitch patterns. Uh, last month I did, this month I have one on a wish list with one, two, three stitch. That's it. So I bought no new patterns. I don't need to. Okay, let's go with plans for June. Here's my little remote to shut off that okay I have a Facebook group page it's a stitch along page it's very simple one month we work on whips one month we work on new starts the month of June we'll be doing new starts you could work on one two five ten whatever you want to do we share our pictures of how we go along throughout the month I will try to remember to put the link at the bottom in the description box to get to the Facebook group page if you'd like to join us. Three questions you have to answer. You don't answer the questions, you don't get approved. Uh, one of the questions is who's your favorite designer? List at least one. Don't say too many to list. I try to keep it a safe group. I know other groups, they, they've said the same thing. It's very hard to, we don't want spammers, we don't want, you know, we don't want any of that. So I do look at everything. So I will try to remember to put the, the link down there. Okay, my June new start month is going to be Raise the Roof. I made labels for all my folders. I've got everything organized. Raise the Roof new starts. I don't know if I'll start all of these. I will start at least four. What I do is that I list all of the DMC numbers that I need for all the projects I'm gonna do for that month. I gather them. This is why I buy so much DMC. I know I have probably quadruples of the colors. I know I have 10 of some colors, but this is the way I like to do it. And then I'll put all of these into individual floss away bags. And then that'll stay with this project bag, which is Eagles. And then the inside I did red, white, and blue. I make my own project bags too. I got into it. Hey, you retired. You can do anything. <laughs> so yeah, so this is all the DMC colors. I will have to find number 939. But that's how I do all my stuff to stay organized, so I know what I have. And if I really am desperate about trying to find a color, I can, all I have to do is look at the card and say, oh, I can grab it from there and then circle it. Okay, raise the roof. First one is turkey dressing. Here, let's do this. Okay, turkey dressing. This is a Thanksgiving project. Uh, let's get the glare out. And I will be doing mine, oh, this will be my first linen project, 28 count linen that I dyed. It's called Tropical Spring. I may change that out, I don't know. I'm very nervous about stitching on linen because of my eyes, I can't see that great. 
and I go on small counts, but I, I'll never say never. I will try it, and if I don't like it, I'll just start it over again. The linen fabrics that I have, I found at thrift stores. I mean, I have found a ton of linen at thrift stores, especially right after the pandemic and everything reopened up. I found so much fabric. I was in heaven. The next one is Peter's Cotton Knits. Another Raise the Roofs. It's Laundry Day. Hop to it. And then that's what it will look like. And I will be doing this on an 18 count Ada that I call Franken Mash number one. And it's sort of Eastery looking. Purple and green. I love those two colors together. So yeah, so that'll go on that. Then we have Witchy Washy. There's the whole thing, and then that's what that will look like. And I picked out a fabric that's 28 count Monaco, and it's called Witchy Night. So I thought that would go perfect. Usually I stitch one over one on 28 count Monaco. Mocha, sit down. And I have to use my magnifying light stand to do that. Boys, be good. Good boys. Next I have, I think I bought the whole set of these. Love Laundry, which is for Valentine's Day. Holiday stitcher, got to have all of them. And again, I think, yep, this is another linen. It's called Orchid Bloom 2. And if I really don't want to stitch on linen, I'll just find something with either Monaco or... And Ada. I mean, it's no big deal. I'll try it. I have to watch some YouTube videos to see how to stitch on linen. Then we have Sam's Socks, Shorts, and Such. So this is for Patriotic. There's that. And I will be stitching this on 18 Ada that I called Coral Fiesta. Almost like their color. So I thought that would be nice. Oh, and then for each individual product, I do list the stitch count. Uh, and then I list the size fabrics, 14, 16, 18. Then I have all the DMC. And then I put that on one major card. It helps me stay organized so I know what I need to pull when I get the DMCs. Ah, get in there. Okay, then we have Clean and Green, which is St. Patrick's Day. Here we have that. And I'll be doing it on a light green, 28 count hand dyed monocle that I call summertime green. I like green with green. It'll offset all the darker greens. But I'm looking at the greens. I'm gonna have to double check the floss colors because if it's not the right shades of green, I may have to change that. Because sometimes two, two types of greens just don't go together. So that I can change that. I mean, I have plenty of hand dyed fabrics in the basement. I went through a couple months ago and dyed a couple hundred pieces. And the last one in this group is Santa Claus Christmas. And I will be stitching this on oh, another linen. Well, I picked a lot of linen for these. 28 count linen, Wineberry Bloom. That I think I will be changing. I don't think I like that. It's too pinkish green. Yeah, I'll have to switch that one. Maybe I'll just do that on white. Or I can do this one on the green that I have for the other one. Yeah, I can switch that out. So yeah, so those are my plans for June. I'll be working on all of these for Raise the Roof. Um, I do have my house decorated with Patriotic. I decorated May 1st, and I leave it up for May for Memorial Day, July 4th, and then for Labor Day. And then I get to decorate for Halloween. Uh, I will probably show the patriotic decorations on the July video. I think I'll wait until then, or maybe I'll wait until the end of June. I'll see. Um, let me show you an easel that I made it's sitting right here on the table. I'll show one of them. I think this is a Sugar Stitches, and it's July. I use Sue Hillis' instructions from her book. 
Uh, here is the back. I used that fabric. I added the bow. I added the stars and the baubles. I thought this turned out really, really nice. So yeah, so this is how I do my easels. They stand up perfectly, sitting on our cabinet here underneath the table, underneath the TV, which I remember not to put on. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that turned out nice. So that's for July, but I put it out now even though it says July, it's patriotic. So yeah, I think that's about it. I think we made it through with only one little tiny bark. They're both getting ready to go to sleep on top of the couch. The sun's still not shining. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Um, stay safe. Eat lots of food. We're, like I said, we're staying home. We're not doing anything special. I hope to get stitching done. I've got to get a lot of this put away in the basement so I can clean out the kitchen table. I got a mess. So yeah, so I'm glad you joined me. Uh, if you have any questions ever, please comment below. If you'd like to see something shown on a floss tube, let me know. I'll see if I can do it. I don't do... Here, wait. Sorry, I just had a low battery mode. Oops. Um, I don't do tutorials. I'm not good at showing. I don't have the means to do a tutorial. So I won't be doing any tutorials right now. I... I leave that to the professionals. I do this for fun. Cross stitching is fun. That's what it should be for everyone. If you like to, like I said before, if you like to stitch on Ada, stitch on Ada. If you like to stitch on linen, stitch on linen. It's for you. It's for you to enjoy and relax. It relaxes me, keeps me calm when I go through all this stuff like dental appointments and Medicare sign up. Just be, just be nice to each other. You know, I hate seeing these videos. You know, people are struggling. I do the videos for fun. I'm not a professional videographer. I, you know, I just wanted to try it. My husband said, go for it. So I, you know, he said, just do it. Just go and do it. <laughs> so I'm rambling. Uh, enjoy the weekend. If you're off on Monday, my husband will be off on Monday. So that's nice, even though he's on call with his job for this week through to Monday. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your stitching. And until next month, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.